This video is brought to you by Draeger's Classics. This is the day I went down and picked up the uh, Shelby uh, with my trailer, loaded it up and took it back to Seattle. Back at Drager's Clubhouse. Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. We're here at Drager's Clubhouse where I want to show you this beautiful, stunning 1967 Shelby GT500. 67 was the last year that Shelby was involved in it. In 1968, Ford uh, was doing the Shelbys. And this has got the inboard lights on it in the front. It has a 428 with a dual four Holley carburetors on it. The engine was pulled out of it and rebuilt and it's got about 480 horsepower and I want to tell you this is a running machine and if you want horsepower this is a car you need to look at and look down the sides and you can just see how straight this car is how beautiful it is the reflections in the paint is just uh, it's really something else and uh, it just it runs and drives great uh, the whole car is just a uh, it very very well done I mean, this is, this is the way you like to find them. I'm not telling you it's a show car or anything like that. It's a really good car. And you could probably make it look nicer. The engine compartment could be detailed up a little bit, maybe. But if you want horsepower, this is it. And look at that door. Closes nice. I mean, again, everything is beautiful on this car. We, these are new wheels, and we have the original wheels with it, along with the original exhaust system and the original gas tank. But the reflections in the paint is... It's just awesome. And of course the back of this car, it's just as beautiful as the rest of the car and everything looks great on it. Uh, it everything works good on it. Uh, and again, the engine and transmission and the clutch, they're very, very smooth. And again, the uh, driver's side of this car is the same way. Lots of reflection in the paint. They're just, it's just really, really a good car. I think you like it. I've, I haven't had one of these for a long time. They just don't come around too often. I tried to buy one last year, but I wasn't successful. It wasn't even close to this car. And again, you see how nice the door closes on it and stuff. 
And uh, there are some flaws in the paint. I tell you what, that's the reason I'm not stopping and pointing this out and scratch out. I don't think there's a scratch in this car. And the flaws are so minor, I have to look hard for them in this light and I can see stuff. There's a little spot there. I can see a little something right in here, but it's, it's minor. I think I saw something on the, in the white up here. But again, I don't know that you'll see it. I can't hardly see it. Now to open the hood, you got the safety cables on here. You undo, and then right underneath here is the hood release. And you lift that up. And of course we got this uh, port arm here that goes in here to hold this up. This does not have hood springs on it. This is a fiberglass hood on here. And there's that 428 engine in there. Now this has uh, got 428 in it with dual fours on here. And you got the big Cobra air cleaner on here. Got power uh, brakes, uh, disc brakes. Got power steering. It's a four speed too, so just in case you want it to know. Heavy air cleaner. You can see it's got the dual fours uh, with it, the Hollies on there. That all looks good. Boy. Come on now. I gotta be close. There we go. I know you don't want to sit here and watch me do this, but anyway, somebody's got to do it. This is your Shelby Vintag right here. And uh, like I say, oh, and we've got an expansion tank on here. So I'm, it's nice and clean underneath here. The underside of this hood, if you can get back, Andrew, and get a, a look at that, so it's... The underside of the hood is beautiful. I mean, this car is super nice. I could say the detail in the engine compartment would be a little better, but uh, if you're not going to show the car and you're going to drive it, it's fine. And of course, to close this back down, just a matter of uh, reversing the order, putting these back in. So you can see it, just beautiful car. I mean, the whole thing is just is just gorgeous. I thought I saw a spot here, but it's a smudge. So I mean, it just I think you'll be real happy with this car. Stunning. Let's look in the trunk here, so you can see how this all looks in here. And of course, this deck lid is fiberglass, just so you know. And it looks it's all beautiful, painted and everything. Hey. Have you raced a Shelby GT500 lately? No, I haven't, but I'll bet just like you, it'd be fun to do. Uh, tool kit, it's got the jack in it and everything. I can feel that. And I want to look over here on this side over here. So you can see we got gas tank and then this area right here looks real good through here and everything. So that all looks good and solid and nice, just like you want it to be. And look at the, car the backing on here, it's padded, and, and the carpet's all like brand new. Everything looks good, really good that way. Uh, the other end of things is the uh, pass-through right here. Just lift that up, and there's a lever right here to push it down on, and then you can get your pass-through. Now, it's got a spare tire here. It's a... Uh, you can see it's a Shelby wheel there, so there's a set of five wheels. And I didn't get that closed. Everything else looks all real nice in here. Now you can see we have a roll bar in here. It goes all the way across. And the shoulder harness is uh, right there. These vents on the side here uh, work on both sides, air vents. And, of course, I always like these with this laid down like this, so you, it just looks better to me in a fastback. Back seats are not very big. 
but you just lift that up lift it up again and it's locked in place you see the rest of the seat belts here these have got the hard backs on the back of the seats that's a Shelby thing and you can see that the headliner uh, looks uh, real good in this car too I mean everything looks uh, just fine there you can see we have the Shelby wood grain steering wheel in here speedometer shows uh, 64,473 miles I really don't know what that means so it's, it could be actual miles, it could be 163, but this thing's pretty damn nice. And if here's the uh, salt flats uh, uh, when it went to the Cobra Shelby uh, meet in 2007. And if you notice the photos, uh, one of the photos shows it on the salt flats. Carol Shelby has signed this uh, glove box door. Actually, he didn't sign that. He signed this piece up above here. Glove box looks just fine. Of course, you've got your uh, oil pressure gauge and your amp gauge down here. The seats on here, they're all real nice. Uh, you know, they're not brand new or anything like that. Uh, they could very well be original on this car. The carpets look real good. I'm sure they've been replaced because, you know, it's a long time since 1967. These kick panels look good. The door sills all look good. Dash pad looks real good across here. You know, I mean, this is a very, very nice car. The headliner here, it's all, all decent and everything. It's a nice car. You can see the gas gauge works right here. And the speedometer shows 64,473 miles on it. Hope you can hear me. Clock does not uh, work. And of course, you can see the tack works. I have to tell you, I could listen to this uh, 428 run. It just feel you just feel like you're in a race car when you start it up. Now the heater. This works. You can't hear it, but it works. Here. Now you can hear the heater fan work and stuff, so. I'm not going to start it because you won't hear it, maybe. Anyway, the radio, it's just a stock radio, but it, it's AM, FM. And if I found a station, anyway, you can see it makes noise. Now we're going to check out the headlights on here and the turn signal. There's park lights, there's a headlight, there's high beam and you can see the uh, inboard lights are on on a high beam. We have the left turn signal, we have the right turn signal, a horn which is much of a horn, and the wipers, they're a two-speed wiper, but also if you uh, get stuck and you need to clean the wipers. I hope you never drive this in the rain. You can step on the pedal and it starts the wipers going. <laughs> I think that's pretty slick. Tail lights, running lights, left turn, right turn, brake lights, and then we have the reverse light, too.
The underside of the Shelby here has been painted all black underneath here. It's clean. I mean, it, it, we didn't do anything to it. We haven't cleaned it. We got, there's cobwebs and stuff in here that could go away and stuff. Gas tank looks good. The rear end all looks real good and everything else. You can see this massive rear end underneath here, and, and of course we got the uh, sway bar on here. We got traction bars on here. So this thing's all set up to handle uh, uh, horsepower. The floor pans all look real good all through here. I mean, the drain vents all are in there like they're supposed to be. This whole thing looks uh, really good underneath here. Look at this massive exhaust system. There's not much in the way of mufflers here and stuff. Uh, it's probably a little bit of baffling in there. That's why it sounds so neat. Great sounding car. And again, the floor pans look all good, except we got one spot in here that's had a patch in here. I shouldn't say a patch, a weld mark. I would assume maybe, maybe it was a bad spot here and they, they filled it in and fixed it. I don't know, because it's not, it's not like we took a piece out because you would have a whole piece there. It's just a single line going right to about there. So I can't tell you that it's anything bad. Again, these outside pieces, the numbers are right here like they're supposed to be. All the drain vents are good and everything and the rest of the floor pans are all great. Frame boxes look good on both sides. This is a bad spot right in here. I wanted to point it out to you. Right here, is, there's a hole that could have been fixed a lot better. I, it just It's something they didn't do a good job of when they were putting it back together. Anyway, it's nothing major. This is a matching numbers uh, four-speed transmission. You can tell by the number right there. Anyway, it's all stock, just like you want it. Might be hard to see there, but it's on the right-hand side. Right up in there, it's laying against the frame, and it's actually touching right here on this motor mount bracket right there. So it's tight in there. This is the power steering assembly for the bottom of the car. And you can see here, all this looks all good and everything. The A-frames and everything look good. This is the bottom of the uh, 428 engine. This is the original block on this car. This is the matching numbers. They don't have any numbers on them, but this is the original block with it. It uh, has stainless steel valves in it now. But everything looks just fine on here. Got a heavy duty sway bar on here. There's not a whole lot more I can tell you up here in front, but everything looks good. Uh, it doesn't look like this thing's been wrecked where this has been all bent up or anything along those lines at all. This is all, it looks good and solid. I'm impressed with how, how good a condition this uh, Shelby's in. beautiful day to take a Shelby GT500 out for a little drive down the freeway. Well, we're going up on the freeway northbound on I-5.
gotta tell you, this is an amazing car. <laughs> now you get to see this, the other side of this car. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even stepping on it, it's scary. the first time I've driven this car. What I've noticed, I love the transmission and clutch. Works very smooth and easy. But I gotta tell you, if you want horsepower, this is not for just anybody. You better be ready to hang on. It, it's got horsepower. It's hard to tell in that short drive on the freeway. You know, and with a lot of traffic, I'm sure not gonna get a ticket to go to jail for stepping on this thing. <laughs> man, man, it would be a lot of fun to, to drive and enjoy. So you horsepower guys, this has got horsepower. I mean, it's got real horsepower. excited to show you this beautiful car. I want to tell you, you come to Drager's Clubhouse and you can see it firsthand. It is an awesome car. It's been well done and it looks great. It's a really fun vehicle to own. I'm Andrew Drager and if you have any questions about this vehicle, please don't hesitate to call or email us. I'm Jerry Drager and we're a father-son team and we hope you enjoyed the video and understand that we really try really hard to go over the vehicle with this video to show you everything. Doesn't mean that I get every single spot or anything else, but I try, and Andrew and I both work really hard to make sure the vehicles are in top shape before they leave here. You got any questions, always give us a call or email us. We'd be more than happy to talk to you. We really invite you to come see them, and if you can't, you should have them inspected. I think it's really important to make sure you understand what you're buying.